Hi everyone. I'd like to have us think about lookup tables and how they may be useful to us over and above the sizing of components. So for those that don't know, lookup tables are used within especially pipe fitting families and other MEP components to look up their values from a catalog that is saved within a CSV file. And nothing stops you from creating your own file. You'll typically find it within C drive program data. Now because I've got a small hard drive I use D drive program data. Autodesk Romeo Victor Tango RVT 2020. There are the lookup tables for pipes and conduits. So you're not limited to using lookup tables for pipes and conduits. You can use them for anything. But typically they will read the information from one of these CSV files. When you edit the family and you have a look at the parameters within the family types you'll see that you can manage lookup tables. Now you can load more than one lookup table. In this case it's using M pipe fitting generic. And if we have a look at that M pipe fitting generic. So once you load it into your program, it's embedded within the project rather. And here you can see an identifier and then the values that it's looking up. Now you could put any value in here any type of unit but Revit does not recognize them from lookup tables so the question arised recently with a client and we quickly put our heads together and thought well you know why don't just read in whatever information we want in millimeters and then convert the unit within the family into something we can use in other words use a dummy variable can we do that And so the answer is yes. Let's suppose that we were looking up a power value. And for the sake of this exercise, that, let's make this a little bit larger. For the sake of this exercise, that where this is looking up the value of the nominal diameter fitting outside diameter, let's just pretend that this fitting outside diameter represents power. So that we would then call this dimension rather power is equal to, and then some other variable over here which is being read in in millimeters and not in watts. Let's create our own parameter and by the way this is an instance parameter so we also need an instance parameter for our power. So we go new parameter, family parameter, I'm going to call it P for power, instance parameter HVAC power. Okay. And then I'm going to say it's got to 
equal the fitting outside diameter, which in our case, if we had included that within the um, CSV file, the power of variable read in in millimeters, and then we'd say that variable divide it by one millimeter and multiply it by one watt. Whoops, wrong variable. My apologies. Power, there we go. And notice that it interprets the unit that was in millimeters and it's now transposed that into a new unit, watts. So from here onwards, we will be able to use P for power in formulae as watts. And you could really have anything that you can describe within Revit, a unit type reading its information from a unit that is in millimeters and by multiplying and dividing by the correct units you can then have your quantity available in the units that you would like. Very powerful. Don't waste your time to try and create variables or read variables in units from a lookup table when they simply don't exist. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration and that you have a very successful week using Revit and if you need further assistance with lookup tables and using them and setting them up you are most welcome to phone us or contact us here at Micrographics. It would be our great pleasure to be of assistance to you.